Hello guys, Aloy Andalus here. On this video we will do this grass moving. And for that, this is a scene I cannot share it with you, but it's all free. So the house is from Evermotion. Check out, it's a free scene, very good. There is everything there. Then the grass, I will use Max 3 as well. Go to the free section. There is a, a complete collection of trees, grass, all types of plants, very good as well. And finally, Typeflow, and I will be using Typeflow free for this one. I have the Pro license, but to showcase that the free version is very usable as well. I will scatter this grass around. So with Typeflow open, what we need is birth, operator, birth pane, birth pane, and this is new in 1.005. And how it works, the easiest is go down, and you have here the particle shapes to be scattered. I will be using all these ones. I have it on this layer. This comes from Max3, I've selected. And now you select the, the mesh where you want to scatter and you click paint. So if I go to perspective, maybe it will be easier to see. Uh, click paint and you will see that you have this brush. Now this brush, you can adjust it. If here on the left bottom corner, you will see different shortcuts. Easiest shift plus middle mouse, you will make bigger your radius to paint. And as you can see, you have a numeric value. So maybe something like that. Uh, with control and middle mouse, you will make your particles smaller and you can see the size here. And then with alt and middle mouse, you will see that you can increase or decrease the particles. You have much more other controls. Uh, you can, for example, on the paint brush, say if you want to have less uh, a fall off based on distance. And remember when, when you do any change here, that this can be confusing. This means the default radius. If you press R, it will go to the default and it's these values here. Now, if you change it with Shift, Control or Alt, it will change uh, your current brush, but it will not change the defaults. So here, maybe you can change uh, by default a bigger radius and the rest is fine. But now when you press R, you will jump into this default. So Let's make it 150. So if you start changing that, when you press R, it will switch to the default. You can see here that we have the default density. Uh, maybe you want to go to 200 and press R. And you can see that now the fall off gets kicking. You have more particles at the beginning and less at the end. You can add more points, for example, there. You can make it more extreme. You can see it now more. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it. So let's start painting. That's the basics of, of this. I think that this is good and alt and more particles there And yeah, let's start painting And let's go from the camera view and yeah, I can see that here I will need more maybe I will need more particles closer to the camera, then further away is not so needed. And here we will need more particles for sure on the distance. But these ones, uh, we can scale a lot that and reduce the particle account and just have some particles there. On the distance will not be so visible. Yeah, now if we want to have these particles smaller, you think that maybe they are too big, you can always add a scale later on and this scale uh, you can reduce everything like maybe to 70 percent so everything will be smaller and um, maybe you want to have some variation so you can have like 40 percent variation and that this is uniform then now maybe uh something that i would like to do again again press r to go down and i would like some bigger particles so so if you want some bigger plants um, Press Ctrl and increase it a little. You will see that now we have some of them, they are bigger, but I want very few particles. So with Alt, it's a combination of Alt and Shift. I want only some of them, they are way bigger. So it breaks a lot this kind of, um, because we have some randomization right now, but they are all more or less the same. Yeah, that I think it's cool. Uh, now I will go down again on size 
maybe around yes 2.8 and again alt and more density something like that and i will try to fill all the the blank spots and so we have all plants and we can see that we have a lot of variation in size i like it uh, let's make this maybe green so it looks more like plants they look more alive something like that yeah and cool so now we have the the particles already there we need to move them for that i like to use a lot of wobble wobble what it will make is create an additional particle as you can see they are here but you want to send these particles outside from the main event so we will press shift and drag on display and we will create instead of geometry we will display ticks so this additional particle will go there and if you change the color maybe we will see it better uh, yeah you see these ticks you want this to be a little higher to have better control so this will go into 20 it's a distance from the from the base and yeah by default will not do anything at all we need some external force here that will affect these particles and then the, the grass will swing uh, up and down. So on type flow, I will go into create helpers and you have a type win. The type win is cool for various reasons. Uh, it will create a win. So let's move it 90 degrees, more or less. So this win will go in this direction maybe in this direction and if you go to modify we can add some force maybe let's give a 10 and let's add the force here force and let's pick this one now if you move some frames you will see what this is doing all the particles are maybe let's go to camera i hope that it's visible let me let make me this smaller from the original position everything will go from right to left because the wing is kicking in only with the wing yeah it's not very interesting everything move on the same direction uh, for now let's turn off the strength and let's go with turbulence because this can be more interesting and normally in turbulence what i like to do to make it visible because you need to always adjust the scale, but it's very difficult to see what's going on by default because, um, yeah, uh, to see what's going on, I increase this a lot. Let's not display the these points. So right now it's very chaotic, as you can see, it's super chaotic. I don't know what's going on exactly, but it's because this scale normally is too big. So you need to reduce that to make this scale so bigger. The pattern is more visible. So let's go to 0 0.02 or maybe a 0, 0, 0, 0.005. Now you can start to see the pattern, I, I hope. If I move the time slide, it's a little difficult to see, but you can see the pattern better. Maybe if I make them bigger just for now, it will be easier to see, I hope. Yeah, I think that you can see the what's going on. We can see this pattern that it's bigger, and I like it quite a lot. Yeah, and you can see if we go even lower, the pattern will be maybe too big. You can see these patterns that are great, getting created. That can be cool. I like first to have a very, very big pattern because it creates kind of like a nice global effect. Maybe 0 0.04, this is a sweet spot. And... Uh, what we will do now is play with the frequency. The frequency is this pattern, how it's evolving over time. Maybe let's go with four and let's see how it looks like. And you can see that we have this pattern evolving. And now we are getting something very, very cool. It's kind of like a green influence. But when you have these values working more or less and you think that you like it, I would like to keep this kind of subtle. subtle. Uh, so something like that, it's pretty cool. I like that this is, this is a slow, like four, I think it's good, four or three. Uh, but this is a very global effect. I will clone this, and this will be copy, and this will be Tywin smaller. 
and it's to give another level of turbulence. So this turbulence, uh, the scale was 0.04, this will be way bigger. And we will add it there. Now it's recalculating and it gives a smaller detail there, as you can see now, and even maybe less. And uh, yeah, I think that something like that can work. Maybe the frequency, I would like this frequency to be, be bigger. So it's kind of like higher frequency. And now the turbulence, it's way, way big. We did it to exaggerate it a lot. I like that this is a smaller. It's a smaller from the two. So this will be like three. And this other one will be maybe five or six. Let's try it like that. You need always to adjust these values. Now, if we play, we can see that everything is moving and you will see that maybe at the end it starts to settle a lot. Let's go back to camera. Now you can see that this is huge, uh, but maybe it will be good to see what's going on. So we can see the effect. We will need to do a preview, but I like it. I like playing with the two turbulences. And now that it's big, I will show you maybe something very cool from Tywin. And it's that Tywin can... You can collide the Tywin. Because right now, for example, the, the wind make this type flow... Uh, let's make this Tywin to have as well influence on the strength. So this will be maybe five. Maybe make it even bigger, 15. So the, all the grass will go there with the wind on this direction. But as you can see, the grass behind the house is as well getting influenced by the wind. But if you don't want that this grass behind the house is influenced by the wind, on wind, we have here colliders. So I create here a box that is basically a simple representation of the house, doesn't need to be very accurate. You can pick that and you will see uh, Look how it changed, and you have the 10% of occlusion. If I have this at zero, you will see that this grass here is moving. But if it's at 100%, it will not be moving anymore. Maybe we can go closer there. Check the difference. 0% occlusion, everything is getting influenced by the wind. 100% is not getting influenced by the wind. Uh, and that's pretty cool because you can do very cool stuff with that. Uh, and you can see that the second time type wind, the smaller, it's get still uh, kicking in. And that can be cool because you will always have some kind of like wind. Uh, but the direction of wind is only happening on these plants closer by. Uh, so yeah, let's turn this off. Now I exaggerate this a lot, but maybe you want this that happens a little, it influences a little the direction of the plants. I think that normally you cannot see too much. They oscillate a lot and it's not so visible that they are going into a direction, but depend on what you want. Now, another cool thing that I can talk about is about the wobble itself. The wobble allows us to say how much a particle is stiff. If it's very stiff, it will always try to get back to the original position very fast. You can see that it's always trying to go back. But if we reduce this a lot, it will not try to go so back to the original position and it will keep more the, the, the position of the force. So now the force, it has even more influence than before. So it's something that you need to check around. Uh, maybe let's go with 0.2. And the decay is how the particle movement decay over time. If it decays a lot, uh, you will see that the, the swing go and forth will get reduced a lot. It will be kind of like being more static. And if the decay is zero, it will be more vibrant. It will be always trying to oscillate from one place to the other. You can see that now it's like going a little more crazy. So if you go one more crazy, go to zero. If you want something more calm, increase this to 0.2. And then you have variation. Variation, some of them, they will be more stiff. Some of them, they will be less stiff. Now that we have these values and they are uh, less stiff, I think that the, we need to reduce a little this type win. Maybe a strength, we went too far. Maybe five, and maybe the turbulence will be as well four. 
and this will be maybe two. And it's a matter of playing with these values. And finally, the scale, I will reduce it a little as we had before, 90. For the example, to be visible, I will keep it big. Uh, but yeah, maybe depending on what you want, you would like to have less than, than that. But that's all, guys. I hope that you like it. Very easy to create a grass with Typhlo. The free version is pretty usable. Well, it's totally usable, as you can see here. It's super fast. And the cool thing about Typhlo is that if you render with V-Ray, these are instances. will use very uh, few RAM. Uh, if you use Arnold, exactly the same. It will use very little RAM. And you can instance all types of particles. And you can do even more cool stuff than that. That's very basic. But it displays a little the possibilities of Typhlo. If you are interested in Typhlo tutorials, check my Patreon because there I am posting a lot of Typhlo tutorials. It's mostly Max related, but as well Typhlo. I have tutorials covering how to create architectural VFX with Typhlo. I am doing a series of tutorials covering a tornado. Uh, VFX can be like a movie production. And yeah, I have all types of Typhlow tutorials, so if you like it, thanks a lot to all my existing Patreons, that helps me a lot to do these tutorials, and if you like it, please give a like, give a comment, subscribe, and all this stuff, thank you guys, see you soon, bye!